to Heritage. And we off on the tip. Shallow comes down immediately, shoots the three ball, no good. Good finish by UGA committed Lions King. Way to start the game off. 2-0. Lakeside Evans is 9-7, coached by Coach Jeff Williams. Starting lineup for Lakeside Evans. Kalen Williams. Brad Hillary. Tucker Gilbert. Tashawn Briscoe. Ricky McGee, Shallow Stars, Truett Spencer, good, good shot by Kalen Williams, Truett Spencer, Eric Kinlock, Elias King, Bernard Lane, Kendall Lewis. I ever rotates the ball around. Shot, shooters roll for three ball for Tyshawn Briscoe. Ken Locke's going to spin it to Kendall Lewis. Lewis spins it to Spencer. Good defense. One of the things you're going to look, Shiloh, Shiloh comes in 79 and talk about their, their nine losses. They've had, they played some really tough teams. Uh, had a loss, their last loss is to Newton, 66-62 um, last Tuesday night. With good basketball team, Spencer shoots a jumper, no good. Rebound by Ricky McGee. McGee pushes it down the floor. He's gonna kick it to Kalen Williams. Williams goes, shoots free throw line, jumper, good. Just like that, it's a 7-2 game. Lakeside Evans is up. Stat Row showcases youth sports highlights and gives a portion of its revenue back to teams. Visit Stat Row today to learn how your team can partner with Stat Row. So Lakeside Evans has been in our, our hoop circle top 10 in their classification. Um, one of the things, they're led by Kalen Williams and um, led by Kalen Williams. Tyshawn Briscoe, Ricky McGee. Ricky McGee is a freshman. On the other end, 79, Shiloh. They haven't lived up to the billing, but this is a, this is probably one of the most dangerous 79 teams in the state of Georgia. Nari Lane looks to kick it out. Kicks out to Spencer, couldn't find him. Turnover. Our land part of that star-studded 2020 class in the state of Georgia where there, there are some big-time players in that class. You'll see another one tonight, Ant Edwards, a.k.a. Ant-Man. Nice finish by Kendall Lewis. And a push for 7-4, leg size up. Looks like Shiloh's going to try to play a little zone press. Good defense by Tanari Lane as he shoots the gap. Try to get the ball, turn it over. Good hustle by both teams. And scrape on the floor, jump ball. The ref's going to call it. Ball's going to go position. Arrow says. Shallow basketball. White basketball. Lakeside ball. Gets the ball, spins it over. Tyshawn Briscoe. Briscoe spins it to Ricky McGee. McGee spins it back to Williams. He spins it back to Briscoe. No good. Round ball tip. Ball stays. 
Clock still moving. 5.15 left. Rebound, good, good rebound by Kendall Lewis. Shiloh's on the push, he pushes over to Spencer. Spencer's looking, finds Elias King. Elias King with the three ball, no good. Rebound, here comes Kayla Williams. Kayla Williams drives to the basket. Oh, they're going to call a charge. Samara McLeod entered the game for Elias King. Two is going to bring the ball down the floor. Kicks it to Kendall Lewis, Lewis kicks it back. And Nate Reed's got the ball. Nate Reed gives it to Kendall Lewis. Shiloh and all, black and gray. Black, gray, and white. Lakeside is in burgundy, white and burgundy. Kim Lewis, no good. Another rebound, way to stay with it. Tanari Lane. Tanari Lane is a tough customer under that basket. As a sophomore, but plays more like a senior. Every time I see him, I'm continuously impressed. Ricky McGee is going to take the ball out right here. He kicks it in to Tyshawn Briscoe. Briscoe kicks it. Kayla Williams. No. Shot by Brian Hillary, no good. Shiloh gets the rebound there on the push. Turnover. Here comes Kayla Williams coming back down the floor, shoots the jumper, no good. Rebound by Shamari McLeod. Spencer kicks it up to Nate Reed. He kicks it over to Lane. Lane goes to the basket hard, misses. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up. Gets fouled, though, in the process. First free throw up, good. Ties game up at seven. Second free throw up, no good. Good rebound by Tucker Gilbert. He kicks it over to Tyshawn Briscoe. Kayla Williams got the ball, spinning it up top. We'll give it to Marquavis Allen. Allen gives it over. Tucker Gilbert. Gilbert takes the shot. No good. Misses. Rebound by Tanara Lane. And the other Spencer brother comes in the game and turns the ball over. Comes in. Still Tyshawn Briscoe on the layup. Good. 9-7. Lakeside Evans. Cloud's got the ball up top. Kicks it just Spencer. Spencer kicks it back to McLeod. Spencer takes it. Gives it to Nate Lewis. Nate Lewis shoots the jumper, shoots the air ball, no good. Kendall Lewis. Gets the ball. Misses the shot. Can lose going to the line for two. First free throw, good. Nine, eight, and I and and you know as we talk about, look at the region that Shiloh's in with Newton, Grayson, Archer, Rockdale. You know Shiloh beats Grayson. 
loses to Newton. Grayson beats Newton. So like I said, anything can happen in that region. Swarm Cloud on the rebound. Just Spencer pushes it up. Gives it back to McLeod. McLeod shoots three ball, no good. Marquavius Allen gets the ball. Kicks it over to Kayla Williams. Kayla Williams kicks it back over. Marquavius Allen, no good. Rebound by Garcia. Darius Garcia's in the game. Kashalo pushes the ball up the floor. Comes to the basket, misses. Followed up, though, by Tanari Lane for two. Ten nine, Shiloh's up with one thirty left in the first quarter. Kayla Williams goes up, nice move by Kayla Williams. Chalo gets it up, Garcia gives it back, gives it to Shamar McLeod. Cloud shoots the three ball, no good. Rebound, Tyshawn Briscoe. Briscoe pushing the basketball, taking his time. Gives it more out now he gives it back. Three point by Brad Hilly. Hilly, no good. Shiloh comes back down to our lane, gives it up to Shamari McLeod. No good, ball goes the other way. Lakeside up. 11-10, 37.2 seconds left in the first. Shiloh's gonna try to trap all ball handlers. Somehow Lakeside beats the press. Kayla Williams shoots the ball, misses the shot. Shiloh on the rebound again. Just Spencer got the ball up top, 20 seconds left. 11-10 lead by Lakeside Evans. Eric Kenlock for three, no good. That's going to end the quarter. 11-10, Lakeside over Shiloh, end of the first. We'll be right back with the dream. I just love being a leader. Because I like to punish people. I think the big thing is just taking the right shot. Just to embarrass people. I'm a beast. Do my thing whenever I'm putting on someone's neck. My adults will be the best in four years. Eleven ten, Barry. We're coming to you live from Morehouse Dream Challenge. Happy MLK Day. Shiloh's got the ball. Darius Garcia kicks it over. Kicks it over to Kenlock. Kenlock kicks it over to Spencer. Kenlock's got the ball back, trying to find somebody. Kicks it over to Garcia. Garcia gives it to Elias King. Elias King takes a shot. No good. Rebounding on the push. Here comes Ricky McGee. Ricky McGee's gonna kick it up to Kane, Kalen Williams. Williams kicks it over for the three ball. Brian Denham, he missed all air. Here comes Spencer. Elias King going to the basket. Tried to shoot a halfway floater, no good. Gets his own rebound, misses, misses. Kendall Lewis gets the ball, misses on a couple putbacks. 
Ball is going to stay shallow. Eric Kim has got the ball, 11-10. Lakeside still holding on to a lead. Rotating the ball, Kenlock gets the ball. Kicks it over to King. Ken Lewis gets it, thinks about it. Pass over to Kenlock, Kenlock shoots the tray ball, no good. Ken Lewis down there for the rebound. Good put back by Ken Lewis, and they take a 12-11 lead. Lakeside's going to push it up. Kaylin Williams got the basketball. Tried to go to the basket. Got stopped. Kicks it out. Ricky McGee's got it. He's going to kick it out. Okay, with Allen. They're just rotating the ball at this point. Finally, they're going to call a, a foul <laughs> on uh, Kaylin Williams. 12-11, 6-23 left, Shiloh's up one. Lakeside tried to, end the tried to inbound the ball and, and almost turned it over. Shiloh knocked it out at the end. Okay, we've got the ball. Being guarded by Spencer. Then he kicks it. Ricky McGee McGee trying to find somebody. He just keeps spinning around the top of the circle. And good defense. Good defense by Shiloh, but also the patience of uh, Lakeside. Kayla Williams going to the basket. Finally finds the opening and scores the bucket. Shiloh tried to inbound the ball and turned it over. Quavis Allen shot the, shot the ball, missed it. They get a turnover again, and here comes Lakeside Evans. Then shoots the basketball off. No good. Finally, Kendall Lewis grabs it. Gives it to Elias King. Elias King goes up and misses. But he gets fouled. King at the line makes free throws. Send Shiloh up. 1 14 13. 5 17 left. Spencer playing aggressive defense on Kelly Wave and picks up a foul call. 14 13. Shiloh's up. 5 13 left. You count. That's good defense. They, they were trapping Denham in the corner on the on the wing. He ended up getting a turnover. And that's usually what Shiloh does. They, uh, Rivers teaches pressure defense. And they usually preach that. And like I said, that's one of the things that they do. Spence is going to bring it down. Gives over to Nate Reed. Reed's looking. Finds the cloud up top. Cloud rolls it. Kendall Lewis. Try to throw it to Nate Reed. Nate Reed just can't hold on to it. Turnover. Brad Hilly is going to inbound the ball. They're going to give it to Kayla Williams. Kayla Williams going to push the ball down the floor. Takes it right at McLeod, but misses. Tonight Lane gets a rebound. Ken Lockett on the push. 
Here comes Shallow tomorrow. Jamar McLeod goes to the basket. Strong, strong move to finish at the bucket. Good move by McLeod. Now Shiloh gets the turnover. Spencer on the turnover. Ken Lunk got the ball. Pushing it back. Spencer's got it. Trying to figure out what to do with it. Kicks it back to Ken Lock. Ken Lock made a pass. Tried to find Nate. Um, Nate Reed, but couldn't find him. Ended up getting a turnover and a score. For Marquavis Allen from Lakeside. Shiloh still up 1, 16, 15 with 350 and counting left. Shiloh turns it over again. Here comes Marquavis Allen. Allen gives it up. Tyshawn Briscoe. Briscoe goes to the basket, gets fouled, and going to the line for two. Tyshawn Briscoe, the six-foot sophomore, is going to go to the line and shoot two. Missed the first one. Makes the second one. That's going to tie the ball game up at 16. McLeod catches the ball. Short corner jumper good for Samari McLeod. Way to get himself going. And here comes the leg side back to pushing the basketball. Caleb Williams got a ball up top. Gives it to Allen. Allen's going to give it to McGee. Going to give it to Denham. Or Hilly. Williams kicks it. No good by McGee. Rebound by Shiloh, and here comes Spencer. Trying to go to McLeod on the low block, but couldn't get to him. Ball got tipped, ball stays with Shiloh. That row showcases youth sports highlights and gives a portion of its revenue back to teens. Visit Stat Row today to learn how your team can partner with Stat Row. 18 16 games been kind of back and forth. Uh, Shiloh holding a slim two point lead over Lakeside Evans. What I've seen so far from Lakeside Evans, I like uh, Kayla Williams, 6 2 Jr. Um, Kind of also, I uh, also like Tyshawn Briscoe, six foot five guy playing in the next game with Noonzi from uh, Johnson Savannah. Later on tonight, if he sticks around, you get a chance to see point guard Asher Higgins from Newton. Ball back in, ball goes shallow. Kendall Lewis shoots a three, air ball. Kicks it over to Lewis again. Lewis gets it, misses. Shiloh's going with that full court trap. Quay Valen's gonna bring the ball down, kicks it to Kalen. Kayla's looking, trying to find somebody to give it to. Finally gives it up. Gives it to Ricky McGee. McGee gets it back. Gives it to Hilly. Kayla Williams got it. Thinks about trying to go to the basket, doesn't. Decides to hold up. Kicks it over again to Kyrie Reese. Reese kicks it over to Kayla Williams. McGee missing Nate Lewis on the rebound. And Kendall Lewis on the rebound. Cloud gets it, gives it to Kendall Lewis. Lewis gives it to Spencer. Justin Spencer goes to the basket, gets fouled. Can shoot two free throws. 18-16, 150 left. 
to a halftime. Spencer missed the free throw. And that's one of the things if you if, if you're a team that's struggling, you need every bucket and every opportunity you can get free throws or free throws. They're free. Spencer hits the second free throw, makes it a 19-16 ball game, 150 left. Shallow continues to try to trap. Allen gets it. Kicks it up to Brian Dental. Dental tried to give it to Tucker Gilbert, but Tucker Gilbert got fouled. Sean Briscoe's got the basketball. Now he kicks it to Kayla Williams. Three point shot by Tyshawn Briscoe. No good. Spencer gets the rebound there, pushing it down. Pierre Garcia's got it. He finds McLeod at the free throw line. Cloud can hold it and give it up, and they get a bucket. Nice bucket by Edward Francois. Okay, we go to the basket, and they call a blocking call. Wow, they call a blocking call on Edward Francois, and the only reason why I can see that call being made is because he was too far up under. So you got to think about that imaginary semicircle line. They, while they use it in college, they don't use it in high school. Caleb Williams goes to the line, hits the first free throw. Good. 21-17, 54.3 seconds left. Second free throw by Caleb Weaver, good. 21-18, 53 and some change left. Cloud gets the ball, he's gonna give it back to Spencer. Spencer's gonna just rotate it. He's gonna give it to Kendall Lewis, then he gives it to Garcia. Spencer's got it, they're just gonna move it up top. I'm sure Coach Rivers looks like they're trying to play for the last shot. They're just milking a little clock. They're just basically playing keep away. Garcia's giving it to Spencer. Spencer's giving it to him. They got like a little triangle going. Okay. Mark, Mark Wavis Allen is not putting any ball in the pressure. Tyshawn Briscoe is not putting any pressure on the ball. 12 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Now they got to make some sort of move. Garcia's got the ball. Find Spencer. Spencer misses, no good, but a rebound and tip in. Kendall Lewis, and that'll end the quarter. 23-18, Shiloh up on Lakeside Evans. We'll be back to start the third quarter in just a second. This is SUV TV Dream Challenge. Morehouse.
Introducing Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Sports Motion Analysis, powered by Dartfish. Giving parents and young athletes frame-by-frame -frame feedback on how to minimize injury and maximize performance. Upload your videos, visit our clinic, or let our specialists come to you. No matter the sport you play, Children's helps young athletes take their game to the next level.
3-18. Leading, um, Shadow scoring. Edward Francois had two. Lias King had two. Tenori Lane had five. Kendall Lewis had nine. Shamari McLeod had four. For Lakeside, Kaylin Williams had nine. Tyson Briscoe had seven. Marquavius Allen had two. Start the second half with Lakeside and Evans with the ball. Moving it around. He goes up, couldn't finish. Spencer's got the ball, he's making the push. Goes to the basket, misses. Kendall Lewis gets the rebound, but gets fouled in the process. Going to the line to shoot two. First shot by Lewis is good. Can lose from one for two, scores 24-18 with 7 708 left. Kaylin Williams tries to drive, gets the ball stripped. Lias King comes down on the break, misses. Nari Lane gets the rebound, puts it up, misses. Gets his own rebound, puts it up. Strong man move, misses, but got foul. Quiet night so far for the Georgia commit, Elias King. Only two points so far. Twenty-four eighteen. Nari Lane just missed the first free throw. Makes a second free throw. Six points so far for Lane. Kicks it over, no good. Rebound by Tucker Gilbert. Tucker Gilbert on the finish. Two points for Tucker Gilbert. 25 20. Shiloh's holding the lead. Spencer's got the ball. Trying to figure out where he's going with it. Up top, he's going to uh, Kenlock. Kenlock gives it to Lewis. Lewis gives it to King. Free throw line extended. Good point. Good shot. 27-20. Scott for the ball. Tucker Gilbert was trying to lost control of the ball and then tried to get it back. This is gonna bring it down. Shallow kicks it to King. King gives it to Lewis on the block. Gives it to Lane. Lane misses. Now they're running. Gee gives it up. Bad pass. Spencer steps in front of it. Good finish. Good steal and finish by Justin Spencer. Up to lead to 29-20. So Jeff Williams is going to take a timeout. Obviously upset with these guys by the lack of days of call. Passing. Can't do that when you're down. Let's 
Stat Row showcases youth sports highlights and gives a portion of its revenue back to teams. Visit Stat Row today to learn how your team can partner with Stat Row. Looking at the game so far, just quiet night. Just just looking at first half stats. Quiet night for Elias King. Lane's only got five, but Kendall Lewis came to play a little bit. He was leading them with nine. Also, Kalen Williams, who is Lakeside's guy, um, continues to make plays for Lakeside. He led them in scoring with nine also. Lakeside's going inbound it. Kick it over to Ricky McGee. McGee spins it to Caleb Williams. Williams holds it. Ken Lock's on him. Williams shoots the jumper, no good. Ken Lewis gets the rebound, and here comes Elias King. Over to the basket, but he kicks it out to Ken Lock. Ken Lock kicks it to Spencer. Spencer kicks it to Tanari Lane. Jumper, no good. Rebound by Tucker Gilbert. Tucker Gilbert's on the push. Tucker Gilbert goes to the, to the basket. Get that shot out of here. Tenari Lane with the block. Here comes Shiloh on the push. Eric Kenlock had an open layup but missed it. Lyles King gets the rebound and puts it back and scores. Lyles King for two. 31-20, and now Shiloh's starting to stretch out a little bit. 11-point lead, 420 left. Tamari Lane gets the ball, pushes the Spencer. Spencer gives it to Kendall Lewis. Lewis going down straight to the bucket. Kendall Lewis, Kendall Lewis, 33-20. Shiloh starting again, and Lakeside's got to get some sort of similar of offense going. They've got to get some stops going as well. Tyshawn Briscoe tried to be aggressive, went to the basket, and instead got called for a charge. 33 to 20. And this the this the, the cosmic kamikaze of Shiloh because one minute they look so good. I watched them play against Newton the other night. And they were in the game the whole time and actually had a chance to win the game. Watched them play a couple of other times. They just they just struggle. If they could ever put two halves together, this team is going to be extremely dangerous. Balls up court. Kenlock kicks it to Spencer. Spencer kicks it to Lane. Lane kicks it back to Kenlock. Kenlock kicks it to Kendall Lewis. Good basic basketball. Two points. Kendall Lewis on the block. 35-20. Lakeside has got to get a score. Tyson Briscoe gives it up, gives it to Kayla Williams. Kayla Williams goes. Kicks over to Briscoe, no good. McLeod gets the rebound, and here they come again. Shiloh pushing, 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 pushing. And Eric Kenlock, coast to coast, continent to continent, 37-20. Shiloh. I'm looking at my producer. Is this the Shiloh we wanted to see? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, eh. All right, Shiloh gets it. Again, the lid is, I don't know if they put a lid on this basket for, um, for Lakeside, but they can score. Shiloh can. Shamar McLeod with the jumper, 39-20, 2.32 left. Stat Row showcases youth sports, highlights, and gives a portion of his revenue back to teams. This is Stat Row today to learn how your team can partner with Stat Row.
Shiloh's gonna come out to press. Play Tyler's gotta try to figure out how they're gonna get that in. Tyshawn Briscoe's got the ball, he's gonna bring it, try to bring it down the floor against Darius Garcia. Backdoor pass, good look, good look. Backdoor pass from Marquavius Allen, then he finds Tucker Gilbert for two points. 39-22, and they get a steal in the turn, almost a turnover. Good hustle though by Marquavius Allen. Cloud gives it to Lane, Lane's at the, at the short corner. Kendall spins it out to Kendall Lewis. Kendall Lewis waits, waits, waits. Gives it back to Lane. Garcia's trying to cut. Cloud asks for that high pick. Cloud gets semi trap, but he gives it to Lane. Lane's in the in the post. Good. Good finish by, by Lane, 41-22. Quaves out and trying to go to the basket and got this shot blocked from behind. Ball stays. 133 left, 41-22. Shot a little over. Lakeside, Evans. In order, with 125 left, 125 left now. In order for shot, uh, for Lacey Evans to get back in the game, they got to string together some defense and get a couple of buckets. Tyshawn Briscoe's got the ball, maneuvering, maneuvering. Finds Tucker Gilbert. Tucker Gilbert goes to the basket, then kicks it back out. No good. Darius Garcia on the hustle. Garcia with the steal in the layup. Here at Garcia, he opens it up, 43-22 with 59 and some change left. Kayla Williams goes, gets the ball, passes it out. Tyson Briscoe misses. Rebound picked up by Tucker Gilbert. Tucker Gilbert misses. His rebound is picked up by Kyrie Reese. Spencer goes to the basket. Nice finish by Spencer. Another good fin finish by Truett Spencer. 45-24. 25-24 seconds left. Forty-five twenty-four and the game is at twenty-one with twenty-three point two seconds left in the third quarter. Williams kicks it out, Tyshawn Briscoe. Let's go pass it out. No good, the Spencer's got the ball, pushing it down the floor. And you can, and you can read Kim Rivers' lip, saying slow it down. Looks like what they're trying to do is they're trying to get Spencer on an ISO. That's why Rivers just tell them to slow it down. Slow it down so everybody can get out of his way and let him maneuver. Don't want to clog the lane up. Catch it goes to the line for two free throws. First one's good. Forty-six twenty-four. Forty-seven twenty-four. Two point eight left in the third. Spencer comes out. So at the end of the third quarter. 47-24, Shiloh is up. We'll be back to start the fourth quarter in just a second.
I like to punish people. I think the big thing is just taking the right shot. Just to embarrass people. I'm a beast. Do my thing whenever I'm putting on someone's neck. My adults will be the best in four years. Here at the Dream Challenge at Morehouse. Happy MLK Day. Rest, relax, watch a little SUV TV. Three gyms, one network. 4724 to start the fourth. Shiloh is up on Lakeside Evans. Lakeside Evans gonna start the fourth quarter off with the ball. They bring it in, Tyshawn Briscoe. Kicks to Kalen Williams. Williams looking. Thinking about attacking, but kicks it out. Shot up, no good. Get the rebound to Allen. Allen kicks it out to Kalen Williams. Kalen Williams gets fouled, goes to the basket. They're going to need a lot more of that. Down 23. Hits the first free throw. 47. 25. 26. 47, 26. Down by 21. Let's see what Shiloh does. Now Lakeside is going to come with their little trap. Shot off by Amari Johnson, hit the top of the backboard, picked up and rebounded by Lakeside Evans. Tyshawn Briscoe's got the ball up top, spins it to Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams throws to the basket. Oh, they're going to call the charge. That's good defense, though, by Amari Johnson. Like I said, once again, Maybe the referees are looking at the fact that there's a uh, semi-circle because we're playing in the college gym to determine where they're going to call their charge call at. Shiloh gets it up over the half-court line. Now they're just going to work the ball around. Garcia's got the ball. Just keep spinning it back and forth. See it go down to Garcia goes to the basket, gets fouled. No, they're gonna call a walk. Okay, the weave is gonna bring it down the floor. Spin it. Hilly tried to go inside the Tucker. That wasn't a good idea. They turned it over. Smart McLeod gets the ball. Shiloh's just going to rotate the basketball right here. Eat up a little time. Time just ticking. You don't call a blocking call. Shiloh's number four. 47 26, 550, and some change left. 
Briscoe brings it up the court, trying to find somebody to give it to. Gives it to Kayla Williams. Kayla Williams gives it back to Briscoe. Briscoe shoots a three, no good. Rebound by Shiloh, but then they turn it over. Kayla Williams gets it back, gives it up, gives it to Tucker Gilbert for two points, 47-28. Turnover by Shiloh. Lakeside turn around and turn it right back over. 47-28, 5-14 and some change left. Cloud's got the ball up top. She's a mid-range jumper. Nice 15-footer by Shamar and McLeod. and get a rebound. Caleb Williams shoots three balls good. 49-31, 440 left. McLeod again. McLeod starting to find his range. And that's what I've been waiting on from McLeod the whole season. 51-31. Down 20, now Kayla Williams coming back to answers with a three ball, Continuing to move, move the ball, waste time. 340 and some change. That's why gets it, shoots it good. Free throw line floating for Edward Francois. 53 34, Shallow. Caleb Williams going to the basket for Lakeside Evans, gets fouled in the process. Three, thirty-five on a free throw by Caleb Williams. Williams again, nice buck, fifty-three, thirty-six. Free throws. They're trying to chomp back into this game. Only down seventeen. Shallow takes it to the basket. Score. David Gomez with the finish. Caleb Williams gets the ball, kicks it to McGee. McGee kicks it over to Caleb Williams again. Caleb Williams shoots the three ball, won't work. That was Francois is gonna push it off Floyd, kicks it to Garcia. Lakeside gets another turnover. Lakeside's got the ball. They're going to bring it down the floor. Looks like Shiloh playing the zone. I think they're going to call it out with on Francois. Yeah, they did. 2.42 left, 55-36. Shiloh's Nate Lewis. Tyshawn Briscoe going to the line to shoot two. 2.36 left, 55.36. He hits these two free throws. Let's see if he hits one first. Going to hit the first one. 
5537, that's gonna cut it to 18. Second one, 55-37. Shiloh gets the ball up the floor. Francois catches it. Oh! They gonna wave off the dunk, but some, hey. I know our producer got that. I don't care if it's a walk or not. Boy, he dunked that thing. Jeez. Taylor Williams gets the ball back. Looks down, passes it. The hilly no good. They Lewis, oh, they Lewis said, I got you, partner. I got you. Nice floating in the air dunk by Nate Lewis. I mean, Nate Reed, I'm sorry. I think I just saw Coach Kim Rivers crack a smile for the first time in about two weeks after that dunk. Fifty-seven, thirty-seven, one fifty-four left. Time ticking. I see it spins it back to Omar Johnson. Omar Johnson goes to the basket and tries to finish strong and does. Omar Johnson said, don't leave me out of this party. 59-37, 1.33 left in some counting. Nice move. Cameron Jackson. I'm gonna shoot two free throws for Lakeside Evans, 59-37, 123 left. Barring um, something happens or there's a shot that we don't know about, a 20-point shot, I think Shiloh's going to secure this win and move on to 89. Missed two free throws. Shiloh gets the rebound. Omar Johnson kicks it down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy, I just, oh, boy. Did that, did that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nate Reed, Nate Reed. I guess Nate Reed, you heard me. Exclamation point. Thank you very much. Man, Nate Reed. Nate Reed dunked that one, and I think he looked over and said, thank you, God bless, good night. Nice finish by Nate Reed. Meanwhile, Kalen Williams went to the basket, got fouled. Now he's going to shoot two free throws, 61 38. Shot the first one, made it. Made it 38. 102 left. Coach Rivers standing up, shaking his head. What has been the whole year? 61 39, 58 seconds left. Time ticking. Tyshawn Briscoe, Tyshawn Briscoe from Lakeside tried to get in the act and tried to dunk on Darius Garcia. Garcia's looking like, look, hey, I met him at the rim. Meet me there, beat me there. Anyway, they're going to get a foul too. Tyshawn Briscoe. Briscoe's going to shoot two free throws. Shoots the first one, makes it 61-40. Second free throw, no good. 
Shiloh's going to take it out under the basket. Clement's going to inbound it. Nice finish. She finally got the handle. David Gomez for two. 63 to 40. Time taking away 20, 19, 18. Got to give Lakeside Evans credit. They're continuously fighting it. Continuously fighting. I just think it's uh, too little, too late. We'll be able to fight another day. Shiloh is up 63-41. Shiloh is going to inbound the ball and probably won't shoot it again, I would think. He's going to run the clock out. Ball game. Shiloh defeats Lakeside Evans 63-41. Coming up next, Johnson Savannah against Heritage. You're on SUV TV Dream Challenge. We'll see you back in a few. 